Uh, okay, I will continue to explain about then now how to use actually how to render interior view. So uh, before doing this, uh, I want to return the section box outside of the building. So I will turn this reveal hidden element icon, which is blue verb uh, like icon here. So I'll just kind of take it back. Uh, so I'll select this one and then I bring it back to outside of the building so I can see the whole building. Uh, if you want to see the other side, it also looks okay to me. So and then I'll, I'll click again so I don't need to see the section box anymore. And then here I want to locate a camera and then if you want to look at a camera, just go to a view under view ribbon and click 3D view and this triangle, little triangle here. And then actually there's camera here. But uh, something you need to consider is that when you look at camera, you need to you may want to use a plan view or section view. So I go to floor plan. And then let's see that level one is their uh, living room here and the other living room here. Level two is more about the staircase and the room. So actually I'm more interested in level one. And probably I will use uh, this uh, living room area with little uh, outside terrace in front of it. So to locate a camera, I click 3D view. So if you are in another, another ribbon, go to view and 3D view and click camera. And then you first need to click the camera location and then drag it and then release it where uh, you're release it where you want to place the target point. So in this case, I just located uh, near the uh, garden or patio in front of the living room and I click one more time. So this is how, how the camera see the living room. To change the angle, to simply click this one of the uh, blue dots, blue circle uh, around the bounding box. And actually you can extend it by doing that actually you can extend the viewing angle. And then if you use a size crop here, actually you can also change field of view and scale too. So it's uh, this one uh, probably reduce a kind of uh, mm, uh, distortion which came from camera actually. The, actually this one is actually in reality this one will be kind of how they uh, distorted view probably. Okay, so this one is how to set up your camera and then if in case you may not happy about the position of the camera um, the way you can move around is actually using this navigation navigator so I just click here one time and then I will drag this one here and I'll probably use pen and I click it and then if you drag it you can move up and down the camera so you can see uh, other areas so this one is actually outside and inside a little bit higher lower and if you are not happy and then also you can actually walk through and up and down and enter and zoom and rewind but it, rather instead of using this uh, if you are not happy about the overall location of camera I strongly recommend to set up another new camera so that is actually uh, much easier for you to uh, set a view and then if you want to delete uh, if you want to remove this kind of again just uh, simply click uh, escape button so I removed it and again, so this is the same thing, but something also, another thing you have to remember is the interior view, your or your uh, previous uh, sun setting will be removed, so you have to reset. So I will click shadow off, and then I will turn it on so I can see the shadow. And then actually this one is default sun set sun setting, so I'll use sun setting. So this one is lighting, and I'm going to use still. Again, for Equinox and Miami, Florida, so this is the same. So probably I change also time to 1 p.m. and I'll just OK. So this one is the view. Actually, I prefer the 5 p.m. view, so I will change this one to uh, 5 p.m. So now I have this kind of lighting condition. And then if you like, if you want, and then also I probably uh, sun pass on. Uh, uh, probably you don't need to sun pass on, so I will probably off. Uh, and then to render, I uh, just simply click here the teapot like icon, which is show rendering dialog. And then here, yeah, let's just render once. Then probably actually this one may be a little bit different from uh, the view that you expected, uh, because we are uh, actually uh, you, we are kind of we are trying to render interior view. But this one, the do you see the lighting scheme? This one is set as exterior sun only. 
so probably too dark or too bright so this one is draft so I will change to instead of using exterior sun only I probably use interior sun and artificial so let's render one more time It's going to take a little time. Uh, so this one is too bright. So in this case, like probably uh, you, what you can do is adjust exposure. So make it a little bit darker. So this one is relatively looks good. And OK. So here um, another one we are so this one is uh, this one is how to render interior view. Uh, okay, I didn't save it extensively. I just delete that. Uh, actually, what you want to do, what you may want to do, is actually render one more time because I lost the last one. Uh, make sure that you save the latest rendering uh, using save to project, so it can remember. So you can uh, save all the parameters you used so far. So also remember that this one is interior sun and artificial and then actually we uh, changed a little bit about uh, some parameters in adjust exposure. So this one is, I will save this one as uh, interior uh, uh, living room uh, 001. And then so now I will change to another one which is I want to, so I want to, I want you to teach you how to use IES file. So here uh, I will change uh, lighting to uh, probably like uh, 7 p.m. or 9 p.m., which is uh, actually night. So actually that everything is or uh, there's no light in the shadow because we are 9 p.m. We are uh, because this view is in 9 p.m. Um, so in so now actually we are going to render the IS file. So if you actually render it, so let's uh, render once. So I just use it. Uh, I want to focus on this two lighting. So I just ma I want to make a little bit uh, larger to see this lighting. And then let's render. So again, this one is nine. Okay, I'll, I'll cancel it. What I want to see here, I want to change it to interior sun and artificial, and I want to change into yes, I want to stop it. I want to change this one artificial only. So because we are in night time and probably there will be no light, at, uh, no daylight at all. So we can really see uh, electric lighting uh, more clearly. Actually, so you see here there are 10 artificial lights. Uh, we just found two pendant linear lighting here probably there are, there will be another lighting uh, backside or so you see that there's a lighting here and lighting here this is too dark so I just adjust uh, the view make it a little bit brighter so you see that there's a lighting in by here so there bright brighter lighting is I think mainly uh, located here and there's one lighting which is locating which is rendering the other side and there's another lighting here too so I'll save this one as uh, so this one is interior uh, living uh, electric uh, electric lighting so save it so here um, you may want to so if you want to uh, use your own IES file or then actually you can simply change the IES file to change the IES file first select a lighting fixture this one or this one so probably these are just two instances of one uh, same family, which is SH lighting pendant uh, light control. This one. So to change IS file, uh, you can uh, use the same thing, so similar with changing any parameters of a family, which is a click here edit type, and then if if you just go down underneath, you will see port metrics and. We are going to use as a photometric web file. Currently, this lighting fixture using 
is using 12121300.is file. To change is file, simply uh, select this name again. Then actually you will see that uh, one button is activated here. And I double, I click it again. And actually this is now where you can select all different is file. This one is provided by uh, Rabbit. But actually if you download from the website, you can select that is file. So here you can change the is file. So this one is changed to one by four one t twelve is file. So so this one is how to change the lighting. And let's see how how does this one change the view. Actually, I don't really see any difference, but this one actually using different IS file. So, uh, just simply this one demonstrate how to use a uh, different IS file. Okay, so if you want to render uh, high with uh, with high resolution, uh, before you doing, just simply click high and render it. I would select region, and clicking this one, hide crop region or show crop region if you don't have it. Uh, so this one is region window. So probably you may want to see uh, some lighting area only. So I'll make this one very smaller. I'll make this one very small. And then so also click this one one more time, which is height curve region. So here, but there's no more uh, cropping activity. There's no uh, show cropping area. So probably let's just render with this region thing. So let's render it. So actually this one probably will take a long time, so I just canceled it. So actually, yeah, this one is rendering only this area. So still, this one is high uh, quality settings, so it's going to take time. So uh, when you render it, test a small area with high quality only, and then check whether uh, how does it look like, and then change, and then unclick region, and then render all area. And if you want to even higher quality rendering for printing purpose, change this parameter here. Uh, and then export the result using uh, this export button. Uh, okay, thank you.